Hello everybody, Wayne Bolden back here at the Speaking Channel for sure. Please to make sure you turn on your closed captions and Saratoga is open and of course we will have tip sheets for that entire card each and every day. They're 20 bucks. Email us speaking24 at yahoo.com and of course our famous all stakes tip sheets every weekend. Email us. They're 15 bucks. Speaking24 at yahoo.com. Well, let's take a look at Saturday's Diana Stakes. Grade 1 for Phillies and Mares, 4 year olds and up. That's right, 500,000. A mile and an eighth on the grass. Now, it's a small field. You heard me whine about that already. Uh, and Chad Brown has four of the five entries. I mean, so, again, um, we, we have to do better than that. We got to get a better, you know, a fuller field than five. And four of them is by the same trainer. I mean, I mean, I, I don't know what else to tell you. But anyway, we'll go through it. Um, very, very nice horses, of course. Well, we'll look at all five of them. Uh, Thieve, uh Raver, right? Well, Thieve Rover, right? The number one Thieve Rover looked totally overmatched in here. Four wins from 15 starts, of course. Mark Cassie is doing the training. Um, the speed figures look real light on here to beat the other four Chad Browns. The number one is 12 to 1 on the line, Feev uh, Rover. Um, I guess you could use them underneath. Looks like this horse loves a yielding track. I don't like them. I'm going to throw the number one off the ticket. The number two, in Italian. Well, you don't need our introduction there, right? Obviously, this horse is the favorite in the race, 2 to 5 on the morning line. There's not a man alive that can pay the mortgage on 2 to 5. Well, in Italian, probably deserves to be 2 to 5. Seven wins from 11 starts, three seconds and one third for 1.9 million. Right? This five-year-old mare has never not hit the board in 11 starts and seven of them are wins. Right? She's by Duwabi. No introduction is needed. Uh, Peter Brandt, uh, Brandt is the owner, of course. Chad Brown is doing the conditioning. And he's got his boy Irad in the yards. Two to five. Obviously, it's going to be our top pick. The horse should control the race from top to bottom. If he gets beat, he's probably going to get beat. Of course, by one of his stable mates. The number two in Italian looks like uh, the winner here. My top pick. The number three horse, well, market segmentation. Well, this is our second pick. Four to one on the morning line. That's a square price. This four-year-old gal is very, very nice. Five wins from seven starts, one second and one third. Just like a stable mate in Italian, this horse has never not hit the board. What else is new with the classy Chad Brown doing the conditioning, right? Five, um, seven for seven in the money, five of them are wins. By American Fowler on the back end by Medagliador, Chad Brown, Jose Ortiz is in the arms, who it was very, very hot over at Belmont, won the title by one or two races over his brother. And again, market segmentation offers the best value to me of the four Chad Browns and the best chance to upset in Italian. So the number three, market segment, will be our second pick. Our third pick, well, the old fluffy socks. Hey, a fan favorite here at the uh, Speed King channel, just for the name alone, fluffy socks. Well, here's 8 to 1 on the old sock horse, right? Fluffy Socks is 8 to 1. This 5-year-old mare loves to hit the board. Don't win a bunch. 5 wins from 18. That's not horrible. But 7 seconds and 2 thirds. Uh, making the second race. She's making her second race off of her 2022 campaign on May 6. Uh, coming out of the Distaff Mile uh, over there at Churchill. Won that race. Now back in 70 days. You got the Rolex guy in the arms. You got Joel, so you're going to get a beautiful ride. But I let you know, Irad was on this one. He decided to take an Italian, which was the right thing to do. Fluffy Socks is our third pick in here if we were to pick three horses in a five horse field. For sure. All right. So, and the last horse in the race, last but not least. White Beam. The old Beam horse is 5 to 1 on the morning line. Four wins from eight starts, two seconds and one third. This is the other Chad Brown runner in here. This one is bred and owned by Jed Mott Farm for sure. And again, this four year old is improving each and every start. Now, this horse has won 50% of her starts. Okay, eight starts, four wins, two seconds and one third. 
Okay, so there's a lot of the upside. I don't think she's going to be able to beat the other three Chad Brown horses, so I'm going to throw her white beam off the ticket. So in this year's small, small field, Diana, grade one, 500,000 shackles, a field of five, four of them by the same trainer. What are we doing in this sport? Hey, our top pick is going to be in Italian, Mr. Obvious, right? Hey, uh, two to five on the morning line. So for us, two, three, four in that order. I'm probably not going to bet the race. I'll watch it, but that's what it is. It looks like in Italian should control this race from gate to, to uh, wire. Um, if there's anyone to upset her, it would be the number three horse, market segmentation. Two, three, four in this year's Diana. For sure. Stay classy in everything you do. Email us, speaking24 at yahoo.com. Five Horse Phil to Diana.